was you. dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, it was. But we've just got to pause for a minute of Trisha Love, haven't we? <sighs> Trisha Love? Yeah. Really? Huge fan. When I saw you out there, I was really excited. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I, sorry, hello. I, I'm really sorry I haven't watched you on... I don't watch so <laughs> You'll have to start watching it. <laughs> Trisha, how to ruin a beautiful moment. Yeah, you've just killed it for me. Oh, God. <laughs> no, but... Oh, anyway, like I, 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 I saw you in those clips. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> no. oh, Trisha, stop and making... Trisha, <laughs> that's enough. But, <laughs> I mean, my goodness, coming back into such an important storyline, actually, yeah. you yeah. know, because, you know, a difficult part to play, you know, the victim of a rape, but also a very modern take mm. on rape as to issues of consent and, you know, mm. divided the community, didn't it? Yeah, which is why, I mean, that's originally why they asked me to come back. You know, the producer at the time called me and said, this is the nature of the storyline, how do you feel about that? And I like that it's a different take on a rape storyline in a soap. You know, it's about mm. consent. It's more, more subtle, isn't It's it? more subtle, and it is the day-to-day -day issues that women are facing. Mm. You know, should I have acted that way? Should I have worn that? Is it is it me? It's that self-blame that, that many people do, not just with rape, but in many different situations, and I, I like that we're touching on that. I read mm. a lot of your interviews and the way you spoke about playing that role and, and that storyline, and it seemed as though it actually really took its toll on you, and it wasn't your favourite thing to do and it was actually really stressful and quite emotional and difficult to... Um, no, I, I loved doing it because I loved sort of being, you know, you have to do a storyline like that justice and I think that I did from what women Indeed. had said, which was, which was, that's what we're here for, you know, as an actress. Um, it was tough in the sense of obviously, naturally, I had lots of women messaging me their own personal experiences. Ooh. So they were sharing... Yeah, and sort of, or, but a lot... How did you deal with that? Um, I messaged quite a lot of women back because I felt like it was important for me to do that. I didn't feel like it would be right to do a storyline like this and then not really say anything. Um, and obviously I just said, you know, I'm glad that the show can support you and has helped you sort of open up like this, which is true, that is yeah. how I, I think, felt. I think, you know, when you watch that particular episode, it's interesting, isn't it, because with consent, I mean, you know, you, you did it so well, but the people at home, there's two different... Yeah. Views. Yeah. Some people say you should absolutely. That's rape. And other people go, well, is it? Is it? And and yeah. that is. I just think that's where EastEnders, you know, do that kind of justice to the community because it makes people think about what's and going that on. And that's a big. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly. That's exactly what this story I was great for. It opened up conversations yes. mm. in people's homes, you know, between men and women and young people and young boys and. Yes. And I think that. That's what. That's so powerful. I'm glad that we did it for that reason. Yeah. And now, of course, your character has moved on, and yeah. in, uh, she? a whole different <laughs> situation. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually happy when you got that script for. Her. I ha honestly no. <laughs> Obviously, I did you thought... feel a bit icky though? The whole affair sort of thing. Was it? Well, it's that thing of like Stacey's. Ruby's only friend. Yeah. yeah. Only yeah. friend. So obviously, um, oh. but they're so obviously sleeping that, with they're their the... partners may be a little yeah, bit of maybe. a troublesome thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but oh, but it, it's great because it will create a lot of drama for when Lacey returns. So that will be that will be really good. And also, there are women out there that do things like oh, this, and yes. you just sort of have and to another, portray. Yeah. 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 And you real? and Lacey. Uh, are really good friends yeah, we in are, real yeah. life, aren't you? So I'd never do that to her. So it's <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> okay. She's at home with a little baby at the moment. It's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does but um, no, of course, I was, I was really shocked. But you know, it's it's EastEnders at the end of the day. <laughs> You've grown up with Lacey and almost grown up in the public eye. Because yeah. how old were you when you started? Like 14? 14, 15. Wow. I mean, how yeah. was that? How was it? going into the industry at that age and Everybody how did you deal with knowing that? who you were. Yeah, I think, and also it was very different back then, well, you know. 15 million people tuned in it, every it was, day. It was huge. Crazy. It was sort of like the the Love Island of today in that sense, like with the bigger. youngsters. Yeah, and, and even bigger. So, I don't know, I was so young that I do think I just took it all in my stride. I don't remember it ever affecting me in any way. Not even people coming up and... Well, they weren't I selfies was... so much then, were they? No, there no, were no camera no phones. No camera there was no either. Twitter. No social media. There was no yeah. social media. Yeah. 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 So I think I got off lightly, but actually. You, <laughs> but but you, you seem very down to earth, so you don't seem to be affected by it. But uh, you do like a bit of drama, even in your real life. Why? What have I done? Uh, you're <laughs> <in there. laughs> what, have I what, happened? what happened when your lovely fiancé proposed to you? Oh, um... <laughs> had a bit of like drama? Yeah, he had a bit of drama. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know what was going on, so I was... Oh, anyway, it all happened in the Maldives, and he, had, he has a drone, which has become, like, our... <laughs> 
pet, which I was like, nah. <laughs> so, I love that. So pet he's group. like filming what I think is the island, and I'm moaning, like, please, can we hurry up? I want to go and sunbathe naturally. And and yeah, he filmed that. Basically, he filmed the whole proposal on, on his drone. But oh. he planned to play music, and that didn't happen. And then there was a cleaner in the back of the shot, and he was really upset about that. <laughs> what, watching the drone. Or? Yeah, like just watching this drone. It wouldn't move for so ages. The whole, the whole video that we've got. <laughs> there he is. There, I loved it. Oh. So, but yeah, obviously to me it was amazing because I didn't know any of these things. Was it a genuine wrong. surprise when he proposed? I was so shocked. Oh, yeah. I'm still shocked now. I can't believe I'm getting married. Oh, when's the date? You've got the date? Yeah, I've got the date. Are you going to say? August next year. August next year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back Somewhere in, in yeah. New York? No, in York. Oh, I thought you said that. I wish it was in were happy there because they were thinking we've all got to fly to New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, no, York. It's the <laughs> best pretty. Yeah, it'd be very, beautiful. Very, yeah, I can't pretty. wait. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, we, we hope you have a wonderful day. We Thank know you've you. done no the baby no chat. Drones. No drama. The drone's the pet. Drama. The drone is going to be there. And we are looking best forward, of course, to finding out what happens on EastEnders um, and how that all unfolds. So I'm, I'm sure oh, it'll build up to what? a Thanks. big sort of Christmas uh, event, I'm sure. And, of course, EastEnders on tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, Louisa, thank you very much. Thank you.